from forecasting revenue to multiple regression analysis. In this video, we cover five awesome data analysis tools on Excel. So let's get into it. Coming in at number five, we've got forecasting. And for this, we can use what's known as a forecast sheet on Excel. So let's take a look. Over here, you can see that we have this data set where it's got the dates and the revenue for a hotel resort business. And you can download the same Excel file in the video description. That being said, let's go ahead and find the trend. So we're first gonna select these. And we're just gonna go over to insert. And we're just gonna go under recommended charts. And we're okay with that very first line chart. Here, you can see that we clearly have some seasonality where in the summer months, it seems like our revenue peaks and then it goes down in the winter. So what we want, what we want to do here is based on these past figures, we want to be able to project into the future. So we're going to delete this chart and instead I'm going to head over to data and then click on forecast sheet. And now you can see that we're able to forecast into the future. Wow. And it's accounting for that seasonality as well here. So that thick line is the forecast revenue. Then we've got the upper bound and the lower bound of confidence, which basically means that 95% of your revenue is going to fall within these two lines. Now, if we head over down towards options, we have a lot more customization. So you can see here that we can change that confidence interval from 95 to something else. And similarly, you can see that it's detected that seasonality automatically, but we can hit that manually as well. For now, we're just gonna hit on create. You can see here that it creates a separate sheet where we have the historical revenue alongside all of the future revenue that it's been able to forecast. Next up, we've got correlation analysis, which helps us determine if there's a relationship between variables. For example, over here, let's suppose that we're looking to invest in some stocks We've got Apple, Microsoft, Amazon, and ExxonMobil, and we have some of their historical share prices. Now, based on that, we want to see if there's a big relationship here. And if so, maybe it's not worth investing in very similar companies, as that could be a bit risky. For this, we'll use the data analysis tool over here. Now, if this isn't enabled for you, you can just head over to file. Then towards the bottom, you'll find options. So click on that. And then towards the bottom again, under add-ins, you wanna click on go. And you wanna take that analysis tool pack if you haven't already, hit on okay, and then it should show up there. So I'm simply going to click on it. From here, we wanna look for correlation. That's the one for us, and I'm just gonna hit on okay. So the input ranges for us is gonna be all of the stocks. So we're gonna start with Apple up here, control shift down, control shift right, and we do have the labels in the first row, so we'll tick on that. And for the output, this is basically where we want the results to show. Let's say I want them to show right over here to the side, and I'm just gonna hit on OK. Now, this table may not seem all that intuitive, hmm. so let me quickly explain. Basically, you can have a correlation from minus one all the way to one. Minus one means that it has an inverse correlation, while one means that it has a positive correlation. So you can see over here that Apple to Apple obviously has a correlation of one because they're the exact same company. Now, Microsoft to Apple also seem to have quite a big correlation and that probably makes sense as they're both tech companies. Now, if we go lower towards ExxonMobil, which is an oil and gas company, now you can see that it doesn't have that much of a correlation with Apple. While understanding the data is important, so is being able to visualize it. And that's where chart templates like the ones HubSpot, the sponsor of this video, is kindly providing us come handy. Using the link in the description below, you can get multiple chart templates completely for free on Excel. In the download, you'll find the Excel file with instructions on using the template alongside all of the chart types you might need to visualize your data. From here, you can easily modify your data and the charts will automatically change. These templates can either have one column of data or multiple depending on your needs. I personally find this template useful for deciding which chart showcases my data best, as it's not very common to find templates that show multiple charts simultaneously. So if you wanna check these out, head over to the link in the description below to download these completely free templates from HubSpot to level up your Excel game. All right, back to data analysis. In number three, we've got descriptive statistics. 
And this is usually a good starting point for understanding your data. So here's the data set. We've got the online ads and next to that, we've got the revenue figures for them. So maybe it would make sense here to do things like calculating the average, the sum, the maximums and so on. Now we can use formulas for that or the other faster way to go about this is using the data analysis tool again. But this time we're gonna look for descriptive statistics down over here. We're just gonna hit on OK there. The input range for us is gonna be the whole table. So control shift down, control shift right there. And we want the labels in the first row because that's what we have. And the output range, we're just gonna select it so that it's over here to the side of the table. Let's say in E2. And I'm just gonna click on summary statistics down below. And we'll hit on OK. Here's the data and let me just quickly reformat it. Awesome, so now you can see that we have all of the essential information. So things like what's the mean, what's the mode, what's the minimum and the maximum, the count and so on. In number two, we've got a simple linear regression. And over here, let's suppose that our manager wants to know if there's a relationship between running online ads and generating sales. For that, what we can do is first visualize it so we're just gonna select the table by going to control A and then we'll go to insert. We're just gonna insert a scatter plot. So this one right over here. And just looking at the dots here, you can see that there seems to be a bit of a trend where the more online ads that you run, the more revenue you get. Now from here, we can do further analysis. So first let's remove the grid lines. So we're just gonna click on those and hit on delete. Same thing over here. And then we're gonna add a trend line. So we'll go over to click, click on any of these dots and then right click, and go to add trend line. Once we've done that, we can do a few more things like displaying the equation and displaying the R squared. And don't worry, I'm just gonna explain these in a second. So this top part is the equation of a line and the 311 here basically says that for every additional ad that we have, that we run, we get $311 in revenue. And then the 9,000 over here is basically the intercept. So basically at zero ads, this is the revenue that we would have. Then right below that, we have the R squared, which basically explains what percentage, in this case, 69% of the variance in revenue can be explained by the online ads. Finally, we've got multiple regression, which is for analyzing more than one variable. So before we only had online ads, but now we also have newspaper ads. We wanna see how these two contribute to revenue. And here the revenue would be the dependent variable because it depends on these two. And so the online ads and the newspaper ads would be the independent variables. So let's analyze these by going over to data and then to data analysis. Here, we're gonna look for a regression and just click on that when you find it. The input Y range is gonna be the revenue because that's our dependent variable. So control shift down there. And the X input range for us is gonna be the two independent variables. So both the newspaper ads and the online ads. So control shift down, just select both of them. We do have the labels up top. So we're gonna tick on that. And for our output, just click on that there. And we're gonna select the top part um, of this table. So let's suppose I just put it over here to F2. And then I'm just gonna hit on OK there and it's gonna generate this table for us. I realize that this might look a bit overwhelming. So let's go over some of the key points over here. In this top part, we wanna be looking at the adjusted R squared, not the regular R squared. So this number over here, cause it's basically adjusted for the number of independent variables, which in this case is more than one. Now in this scenario, it's 0.99, so almost 0.7, which basically means that 69% of the variation in the revenue is explained by these two independent variables. So generally, the higher the number, the better here. Then the other important figures here are down below where you can find the coefficients, so the intercept and both of these ads over here. For the newspaper ads, you can see that this coefficient is negative. So for every increase in newspaper ads, we actually have a decrease in revenue. On the other hand, for online ads, we have a positive 365. So for every online ad, it seems like revenue increases. Now there's a ton of other statistics over here to the side. If you want me to cover those, that would be a whole new video. So let me know in the comments below. 
Hopefully this gives you a good overview of the data analysis tools available on Excel. If you want to learn more about data analysis, check out this video over here or this link here to take our Excel course. Hit that like and that subscribe and I'll catch you in the next one.